hi everyone and welcome in the previous video i have covered that how to read data from sqlite database and how to display the result of those data in the node red dashboard in the tabular format okay so whenever you click on the load report it will read the data from sqlite table and it will show the report or it will show that data on the node red dashboard but in this video i have uh, you know modified that flow and now we have the start date and the end date so you have to choose the start date and the end date for which you want to load the report okay so once you select your start date and end date and once you hit the load report button it will load your report here now uh, in my database you can see here i have my you know sqlite database okay i'm sorry yeah uh, it has a four column like id timestamp tag one and tag two okay and the data is for today only okay i have just logged this data today only so we don't have data for you know 3rd of december or we don't have data of 5th of december we only have data of 4th of december 2023 so now what i want to do is if i select 3rd december here okay start date and end date then it should not show any report here if i select the 5th of december then no data will be showed here okay if i select the 4th of december then we have a data so this is how it is going to be work so if i select the friday 1st december 2023 and end date will be my sunday so 3rd december 2023 and if i click on the load report it will not load any report now if i select the date like 4th december today and ending date is 5 december okay and if i click on the load report it will load my entire database here you can see it has a maximum id of 63 if you go to my database and if you scroll down yeah uh, yeah if you scroll down here then you can see it has a maximum id of 63 and the value for that is 125 and 111.3 you can see that here okay so this is how you can use this flow now what i have done to uh, make make it happen so i have first took the form node okay so you can see form node in that form node i have attached the form node in the home tab control section okay and then i have created two parameter start date end date here also the name will be start date end date and what the data type okay so data type will be the date because we are going to take a date from the user so that is why i have selected the date and both of dates are required to generate a report if user wants to generate a report for few days if user wants to generate a report from 1st december to 5th december then once it uh, once the user click on the load report it should load the report between that dates okay so that is why i have used two parameter here start date end date and then after i have two button once i click on the load report the data which i am getting from this parameter it will pass to the next node and if i cancel it then it will not pass to the next node okay so this is how this form node will work after i click on the load report button the data will pass from this form node to this function node inside the function node i have the sql query so first of all whatever start date i am getting i am converting into the unix time step whatever end date i am getting I am converting into the unix timestamp and this is my sql query select id and here i am converting my you know unix timestamp into the local time and then you can see as a i'm converting as a local time then after i'm selecting a column tag one tag two from my modbus data underscore one table and here is my where close where timestamp should be greater than or equal to this start date and timestamp should be less than or equal to the end it okay and then my query is ending so this is how this query will run it will get the data from my database okay uh, once i press the load report button it will provide the data to this function and this function will send that sql query to this database node inside this database node i have configured that my query will be from the previous node topic okay and uh, my database is created on my desktop you can see on my desktop i have this database test.db and here is the database you can see the location okay yeah so and node read has a permission of read write and create so once 
we will click on the load report button the data from this form node will pass to this function node and the function node will provide the sql query to this uh, database node and this database node will give us the data okay required data and we are loading that data in the table node and you can see that data here you can uh, you know order by timestamp using this option like local time you can just click here and it will order by timestamp it's a descending order you can see starting with the 63 and the uh, i mean latest timestamp and this is the ascending order starting with the one okay so this is how you can use start date and end date in the report to fetch the data from your database and to show the report on your node red dashboard now you can also save this report in the csv file so we can create a button here that save report in the csv and we can save this report in the csv format in our system okay so that is also possible we will see that in the future videos and here you can also you know control your uh, row count if you add here that low uh, row limit and if you create one more parameter in the form for row limit then you can pass this parameter in the function node and you can use the parameter to limit your rows okay so that is also possible and um, there are so many things possible with this uh, function node and this form node and the sqlite database node so i hope uh, what whatever i have explained in this video that is clear to you if you still have any question or any doubt then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram i am not going to provide this flow because there is nothing inside the flow you have to create this uh, form node with the two parameter you have to change the button name here then after uh, you can you know stop the video and you can write this sql query by yourself okay otherwise i'll provide the sql query in the description of this video you can use this one and uh, then after it's a db node you just have to you know uh, provide the path of your database if you don't know how to create a database just provide the path it will auto create the database for you okay and uh, this is the table node here also i don't have anything i didn't set anything in the table node whatever data is coming from this db node it is passing to the table node and the table node is displaying the data on my dashboard okay so i hope everything is clear and if you still have any question confusion or doubt then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere i'll try to resolve your doubt as soon as possible so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you